Okay, so we are back, part three. I can't remember where we were, but we'll just pick up from wherever I saved the game. That's the best way. So we've already built a straw hut now because we just learned to build both straw and reed. Goodness me. So now I want 75 reed from those that I put to gather them. I, you know what? I'm so senile. I don't remember where things are, so I fumble around to find things. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give them names. <laughs> oh dear, and it's a stew, stew only. Ready? Oh, these are mud and a uh, reed and mud, mud and reed, reed and mud, mud reed. Board oh, free workers. These are sticks. These might be given, you know, if you are over 400 population, you are running out of gatherer groups, you only get eight. And at times you will need um, more groups to take over some of the other tasks that others have or copy the task. For instance, you might find that you will need um, the stick group to also gather straw. So, but of course you probably already know this. Right, foods, craft them out, straw, mud reed. I have them all night, don't I? I do. Okay. And what are these doing? These are the overall tools and stuff. Uh, when the tribe is big, I have their own um, rope group as well. Not so everything is being done by those with weapon because they will get much higher and higher limits that they need to do on the tools and the weapons and then uh, rope is always used constantly so we cannot risk that um, crafters with few members having so many tasks that they can't reach through them all because that is not good so i'm gonna x this one out and let me see these are fine sticks i'm gonna make it their own craft uh, rope group Sturks. They have not sticks, but sturks. I'm going to leave it like that. Yeah, because I had it coming. When you don't pay attention, <laughs> when you don't pay attention, that's what happens. These are farmer tools. Oh. I always argue with myself, is it farmer's tools or is it farmer tools? I think farmer tools is a bit more pro, but I'm not pro, so I might write farmer's tools with two S's. Uh, let me see. Let's do a rope. Don't need more than one person for that, because we are just making ten and we are already at the limit. Ta-da! There you go. So these should be housing only. Normally at a 400 tribe ish or so, you will have at least two full housing um, groups. At least 28 builders. Yeah, so now we have the housing we need, but we're going to replace. So this one is going to be replaced with a reed hut. And one of these are also going to be replaced with a reed hut. Uh, we have tons of reeds. See, now it's uh, summer and spring, and now they are green. See? So they change with the season. Look at that, these are the water lilies with the lollipop in the middle, that's what they look like. You know those rings we used to buy when we were younger, that had candy shaped in like a diamond form? That's what they look like inside. They look like a blob. There should be tentacles inside. With seed and stuff, but nah, it's a blob. We has a blob. It's good to have these colours though, because they break up the monotony of the colours we normally do have, because we have very a lot, very much uh, autumn colours, don't we? And nothing really sharp, unless you go stare at the wild, the raw meat. <laughs> they are sharply red. <laughs> so, yeah. So nice, let's set some speed. Um, with regards to graves, the, um, the bodies are now decaying uh, faster. So, for instance, on fast, uh, you will notice that it takes only a year and a half or so before uh, our body is decayed away. It has basically been reduced with like 20 months, I think my note's saying. It's, it's a while back this was done, and I can't remember if I've talked about it in any other playthrough or tutorial. 
uh, but also with regards to graves. Um, there has been made some other changes to an area we can talk about later, which causes uh, extra combination unrest to be likely to occur. Uh, this is an entire section on its own. It is intricate and I I must admit, I don't remember everything, but I'll try to do my best to get the basics to you guys, because you will, you will get the rest yourself on anyway. When you have a, a relative die, normally they start growing unrest on after 24 hours, so that we don't get unrest when it's nighttime and nobody is burying anyone at nighttime unless they absolutely flipping murder them, you know, <laughs> the usual thing. <laughs> So after 24 hours, then the relatives will start building on rest. Now here's the thing that has been changed due to something else that was changed that would affect this. <laughs> we can talk about that later. And that is that the time between they start building on rest until it reaches its maximum of 50 on rest takes a lot longer. So now you could be unlucky and have uh, no graves for uh, someone who died but then you could be lucky because you won't have the max unrest grown so quickly it will have several days and not only a few like normally before this change when you had lack of graves people started singing on 35 the day after on hardcore it was insane three days and they left and here you can go at least six days before any really angry people so yeah in any case graves must always be available you just check your elder population if you don't have any to, to place just check your elder population those who are not in any groups or doing anything they are too old to work so if you go by those that are not group affiliated at least in a busy tribe, you will see that those that do not work or in a group, they are too old, hence they could die any moment. And this one will die. You know, I forgot to, to check her, her fitness. You know, I forgot to check her fitness. Uh, she's 18 out of 18. I don't remember when the month was. But I think it's, uh, it's a six or four fitness they lose per day. See if I can remember it now, <laughs> I might not. Let's see. I like the, the leaf as well and the charisma has been changed. There were some icons that didn't really fit so there has been some suggestions to change and they did change and uh, it's looking good. I, I quite like them. Uh, one of the things that I didn't quite like was that it felt a little bit simplistic in comparison to what we used to have. Like a little bit too simple for, for the younger, like for, for five-year-olds, if you know what I mean. A pure heart and stuff like that. So they made it a bit more messy, a bit more detailed to not be so simple. And, and, that, and that works. It worked. So I do like that. Let's see what she's on now. 13. Okay, so now it's been one day. So you lose between four and six per 24 hours. Don't, don't forget that when you are 60, when you reach 60, a uh, member reaches 60, then uh, the fitness will start going down. And when she's below 10, then she will have the death face. It used to be a skull, but now it's just a death face. So she has reached 10 and will go below and now she has just a few sleeps left. Let me see if we can guess who's going to take her space. So it's not only charisma and age, you know, it is also fitness, so... I need to just put on pause so they don't jump around so much. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, this could be it. It could be her. Not 100% sure. You never are, because there are so many intricate calculations in, in place to pick the uh, the leader, especially when they're so close to each other, you know. But if there's a clear winner with high fitness and fairly high charisma and well-adult, 
you know this is this is the person that's going to be the next leader but yeah my guess is on which one did i pick i forgot which one i picked was it this one rona well we'll find out This one might actually win as well because he has 171 fitness, but his, uh, his, his oh no, in charisma, sorry, because his charisma side, but his fitness is a bit bob bob, isn't it? A little bit bob bob. Oh, I hope it's not her, because she's on death's door. <laughs> I, I don't like that they are so old when they're being picked. I want them to... Over, over a year ago, I argued that it should not only be the old ones, because then we can never have free policies. They are always, always locked. And that is just frustrating. So then we got that also fitness was a part of it to avoid having the very old. You know, so that's why we also added fitness. But if it is a, a, a mix of age, fitness and charisma, then I think fitness has a lower say than charisma. We will find out because if, if she becomes the leader now, that that means that charisma is still above fitness, which I think it actually is supposed to be. Yeah, anyway, we will find out if it is Rona or the old Co Coca-Cola woman. What was her name? Coca-Cola? <laughs> For heaven's sakes, <laughs> I just had her here cold and it's, it's cold <laughs> anyway what else is new from the front yeah I was going to talk about that after I talked about the graves you know the, the, the bodies take a longer time to decay a shorter time to decay and unrest for lack of graves also takes uh, longer to build to max and the reason why that is is because we have added a um, factor that could make a combination on rest rather likely for players that do not bother to get housing for everyone after several years played. And that is that if you go a long time without housing for everyone, without a good rotation, then unrest will suddenly start growing exponentially. So after like five years and not everyone has housing, then you will notice that they are going really grumpy. Even in beginners, they will be grumpy. Might take many, many years, but it will happen. Seriously will happen. Oh, well, she has an increase. He, even though he's a bit old, but he has an increase in hunting. So I, t I took to the him and we have 54, but they still have, what do you mean? I don't remember what tools we have now we do have a flint space yeah so if you if you struggle with with uh, getting up the skills for hunters or fishermen just give them poor poor tools it's just no big secret just give them poor tools so they spend long, longer time on the hunting so remember that the hunting when they chase they do not get learning skills unless they are close enough to actually reach them with melee weapon or ranged so it's not the range that counts it's the range based on the weapon if you are having the spears you must be fairly close and then it starts counting if you have the bow then you can be a bit further away because it's a ranged weapon and then it also starts counting so don't be tricked by thinking that you are gaining levels while you're running after them or the moment that work hours start ticking in does not work like that just say keep that in mind if you want them to take longer time to actually kill the animal or a weapon is the way to go because the chasing won't won't change that will be exactly the same so it's not that they will take longer time to catch up to the animal it will just take longer time to kill it ergo more learned mm -hmm. yeah. uh, let me see so i'm going to this one now can be taken down and i'm going to let them start building a reed hut i'm going to have it over here so we're going to build two reed huts because we're going to remove one leather as well but if we leave one of each then we have one of each type of housing 
you see and that also means of course that we are sharing the materials needed for repairs and building more equally so we don't have a huge strain on only one resource so this is something that we need to take with us all the way when we play and not only in the smaller tribes or medium tribes in the big tribes this is equally important if you do not have a a proper wheat industry with threshing and straw coming from it then you need to consider to replace some of your straw needing housing with stone and leather and reed so if you position yourself close to rivers or a delta outlet by ocean with rivers coming into it you should be okay with having several of each other type including reed yeah, no need to sacrifice anyone to the reed goddess when you place your ass next to a river or, or the ocean because there are patches of reed close to the coastline anyway. Any marshy areas with any fresh water, fine. You get reed, you get fiber. Because don't forget that the soil uh, from the coastline and upwards will uh, um, rinse away salt and also other impurities. Hmm? So if you're ever stranded on, a, on, a, on an island and there is no water on the island, move a uh, hundred meters from the ocean space and dig a long hole, you'll get clean, clean water. Good to know, eh? Let me see, what are your... Good to me, goodness me, he has increased in everything. Oh wow, I think that might be the next uh, tribe leader, unless we already have a new one. I didn't notice she died, we do. Oh, it is that old man, yeah. Yeah, it was the one I said that had a bit Bob Bob fitness, but charisma. So Cola didn't win and the other one didn't win, but this one. But I think the one that we just got actually might be a very good candidate. Where is he? Not him. I can't remember, but anyway. Um, oh yeah, there she is. Duh. I saw her and I didn't register. Register. Yeah. But the thing is that you can do with regards to now that the game is harder for all difficulties in, in, the, in the area where you are not giving housing for everyone after many, many years, even in beginners. And that is you can, you can micromanage this to actually control your birth rate and the rate of, of immigrants coming to you. You can control the frequency. So if you are having... Um, medium okay houses and only lack a few so they have to rotate between fireplace and good and bad housing you could be lucky not lose anyone but also be lucky enough to manage to control population by that birth rates are going down when they're not always happy and migrant uh, frequency is also lowered when they're all not always 100 percent happy so there are pros and cons to this the, the the good thing is you can control birth rates and migrant frequency the bad thing is that you can have your ass under to you if you're too lazy <laughs> or slow lazy call it whatever you like but you know after five years you should really really have fine, have, have uh, plenty fine housing for everyone just saying just saying you need repair but uh, let me see so nobody's been assigned to it yet because there are only three Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, can you see it turn blue immediately? And it was usable throughout. So the change is now confirmed via us testing it directly in a playthrough that this is how it works. Hmm? Yeah, you can do this as well. And if you find something that is not working as intended, let the devs know on Discord or on the Steam forums or wherever you see fit. This is basically what I do. That's it. I check that things are working as intended. Everyone can do it. You do not need any special education. You just need to be vocal about what you find, be vocal about your opinions. But of course, I probably am the only one who will do this, but I am the only one who will arrest people who are being arrogant twats. That will never be accepted around me because I do not want that, yeah? So you can uh, opinionate your, your wishes, what you want, what you don't like. And what you think should be changed, what you think should be added, and all the things that you find that you feel is not quite belonging to how the game should be played. Poor gameplay, bad gameplay, good gameplay, what could make it better, what will make it worse, etc, etc. Yeah, because this is exactly what I do. That's all I do. That's it. And you guys can all do the same. 
if you want to be vocal about it and have some activity to actually be vocal about it, go for it. It's all good. Right. Um, da -da 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 -da. So now I'm going to remove this one without the the sunshade. I call it. It's a sunshade, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what it's called really. A sunshade is a sunshade. Let's have a look at you. Oh, he's 14 and he has two skills already. Okay. And she has. Oh. <laughs> She has agriculture, but we don't have Neolithic influence. Dude, that's going to be wasted. <laughs> She's going to die with that knowledge. But she has increased in stoneworking as well. So I'm actually going to take this. But now I, I really need to get up housing because now we have a lack, don't we? Right. Where is my group? You guys need to make another of these. I'm going to have that there because there's a offering there and it fits so well, doesn't it? One more. Let me see how many is lacking. It is 30%. Okay, 30% of 25. Because a 10% is 2.5, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so I'm so shit at this. <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna need this one up and probably one more, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I need to use my calculator to find 10%. <laughs> 10% of 25. Oh, 26 now. Mm, babies are coming. How high is the happiness? 96. Okay, yeah, because we lack a few houses. Wait a minute, do we have increased work hours? We don't. No, I rarely fiddle with those. Mostly because it's not needed if you build as needed. If you build by need, you should be okay. On hardcore, the big tribes, 400 plus in, in the more uh, strict areas, I always build above need. I build way too many farms and what I do is that I pray that the leader is not so old that I can't jiggle with the work hours. And then I max them out for four months, for three months. Then half the tribe is red. And then I put it down one below default. And then uh, two days later, they're all okay. <laughs> so this is a bit of, of a you know, not playing as intended jiggling. But you know, when you play hardcore and everything counts to, to survive, you of course experiment to find out what works best. I mean, it goes without saying, yeah? Come on guys, chop chop. Oh, 23, so it's gone down. Do we have another death? No, we don't, that was weird. Okay, now we're going to need more, <laughs> depending on these have. See, I can't say no. Oh, it's always a problem with me. I can't say no. I easily go into Neolithic time with like 400 people. It's insane. <laughs> uh, none of them have any increase, but they do have, have solid knowledge in all these. And a bit of spreading will never hurt. And they're both male, so they won't make babies. So, yeah, there's a plus to everything. So now we're probably going to need another heart. Uh, we don't have enough uh, leather working to to do the uh, pelt bit on. Yeah, we we lack a little bit of leather works, but I'm not too bothered. I'm not too bothered about that. We can make pelt huts to keep up the skill. Uh, big straw huts, yes. Oh, small temples. Uh, let's let's have a small temple. But I'm going to do something that I always do. I have a stone working group for stone working only so that means i don't take important um work. i don't take important um workers books oh my god <laughs> from groups that are, are more needing needing it i'm going to give him one person let me see free people how many free people do we have we have tons of free people I, oops we can have two you can have two and then we put it. Where we put it? So remember that it is the flat side that has the hands, the handprints, uh, or most of them, and not the rounded. So you, if you want to have it in a position where you can always see it. Ta-da! There you go. So if I put it up on macro, then both my builders will work on it. If I put it down on one and only one world. So don't forget that the priority also decides the amount of workers you allow onto this object building field or whatever. Yeah? So that is a little tidbit of information that is really useful and uh, a lot of new players are not aware of it because you can find it nowhere. You know, there's no proper in-depth information to, to show these events, to show these little details. Right, uh, if we are smart, we keep an eye on the elders and she's gonna die soon 
you see she's on 14 so she only has a few sleeves left so we should get more graves down always have enough graves to cover everything wait a minute why is that in the triangle okay oh i forgot to to add it yeah and this is how you add things with a sign if you want it to be in tribe then tribe page is open and then you add to tribe yeah but if you want a group to do it then you get your group highlighted then you assign button and then you click over the button or the, whatever you want to change and you can change it back and forth but no two groups can share the same object there will only be one group sharing having one type of object not one type of that object they can have whatever they want i have seen some players experimenting around with having one maxed out building group doing absolutely everything including the chores and that is not going well it's not recommended at all because that means that there are several reasons why that is not okay first of all if you have a, a builders group doing all the chores that means that only they will learn these chores skills which is food processing and food, that was a busy busy talk food processing and tanning and then you have uh, architecture which they will do they will do woodworking, they will do stone working. So that means they're already up in five different skills and the max for a person without any positive attributes within uh, skills, intelligence uh, and handiness. You can't learn more. You will never see a normal person reach six, seven and eight skills. In order to do that, you need highly intelligent with both high skill and good handiness. And, and those are rare. So if you calculate between three to five of the um, skills per normal member, then you have already tied your tribe down to only having like four or five skills out of 10 in a small tribe. And this is not going to work. You have to divide them throughout the tribe and not let everything fall on only a few persons. That's not going to work because they will reach a limit and no matter how many houses you put down if they haven't learned architecture by the time they have four skills they are likely never going to learn architecture so keep this in mind there is a limit to how many knowledges each person can have based on their attributes and the stu more stupid they are the less they will learn they will take longer time to learn they will take longer time to build anything and they most certainly will not have even five skills keep this in mind so if you're going to experiment you need to experiment within the system and um, the system allows a lot of good experimentation to be done uh, with good results but not this because then you are locking down any kind of spreading to help yourself out just saying yeah small detail well, it's a, it's a small detail if you are the, the experimenting type and you do these kinds of things. If you don't put all your uh, people to work on everything in one group, then you're good. But if you put them all in one group, you will struggle. It's not a good idea. In a small tribe, of course. Because it's not like you put two people to do one thing in a 400 plus tribe. No, you normally have like 28. It's a little bit different. You need to adjust per tribe size. But of course, you all know this already for new players who contemplate i'll just put one in or, or all of them in one you'll do all the building if you guys are builder you do everything you could end up uh, being bitten in your tush by doing that <laughs> there's some nasty surprises when all four people with all the skills die and you lose four knowledges <laughs> it's, just, it's not always uh, like that of course i exaggerate to make a point but this is the extreme and the extreme happens trust me the extreme happens I just had an extreme happen to me and it was frustrating and I have moaned to the devs about it. Um, I was playing my, my hardcore tribe up in northern Norway, Ice Legends, and uh, we were 460 population. And of course that is over middle of the soft cap. So a system drastically reduced my birth rates and it drastically reduced both the frequency of migrants coming and also the amount of people per group coming. So by the time uh, 10 years or so had passed I had lost 80 people to normal things to, to normal death but I had only four migrant groups and none of them were above two so uh, 
I could not manage to keep up with 28 builders and 64 houses. I could not manage to keep up my, my architecture skills above 90%. So I lost first the medium house and then I lost the long house and that frustrated me to a point where I wanted to throw the computer out of the window. What the hell is this BS? So yeah, the, the dev is going to do some thinking and figure out a better way to do it that does not remove the realistic. See, what I argue, and I will continue to argue till the day I die, it is not normal that you lose the ability to build something when you are bloody well constantly building it. That doesn't make sense. There's no sense in that. And I have argued this since the beginning of time. Since <laughs> time immemorial, I never exaggerate. And uh, finally now, finally now the devs are, are actually going to, to, to do something about it. Because I do understand where they're coming from as well. Because what I do is I play the extreme. I play the extreme edges of everything. I mean, that's just what I like to do. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm playing it wrong. There is no right and wrong way to play. Just I can't pres pres make that more precise than that. You play as you see fit. And when the game gives you the tools and the ability to do these kind of things, then the game should also continue to give you the freedom to do so without taking away your tools. Because if you take away the tools to have a 400 plus stride in the soft cap zone in a, a hard, stricted area, then you are basically saying, no, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to play here. You're not allowed to play in the soft cap zone. That is BS. We are allowed to play in the soft cap zone. We can play until 512 population. Just saying. And, and I will fight for this. I'm still fighting to get all, all Paleolithic tools and weapons at start in 10 KBC in the Mesolithic timeline. Just saying. <laughs> it's, uh, constant constant discourse going on with regards to what players should have and what history say they should have so yeah right um what else is there that we need to talk about yeah this is really really important because this is something that not only i have mentioned i think several other players have mentioned this and the devs have been working on it bit by bit to see how it works more in long term and, and how many players are managing well with the way things are going or the changes per, per time they are changing it. So what they have done now is that they have managed to make the gatherers use more brains. Instead of five in the same group going for one rosy bush, they have instead managed to make it so that they go for one rosy bush, bush each. Huh? You know what that means, right? This means less workforce will spend less time coming home with one berry or one rosehip or empty-handed for that matter because that was something that really annoyed me. They went to the flipping edge of the map to, to harvest one rosehip bush and then five came back with one each and one came back with nothing and two others came back with three. Yeah, complete waste of time and workforce. So this has been improved. Now, I'm not saying that imbeciles and people who are either clumsy or stupid will not be idiots, because they will continue to be idiots. But normal people and people with a bit of brains, bits of intellect and skills, they will go alone to the resource that will grant them full capacity in carry allocation and then go home and store. Zero time wasted, zero workforce wasted. So on the whole, you will have a few that are a bit bob bob in how they do things, but on the whole, you will have people going for one resource that will uh, correspond with their carry allocation. So if there's 50 in a pile, then all five in the group can go because they will have roughly 10 they can bring home. That is a full carry allocation for all five. But if the amount is only 10, then one per people will, one person will go. Yeah. So this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, you will notice it because you, you, you notice that there is a, an increased efficiency and that you have less people running around and empty handed going to store half a unit of berries, you know. So the only time you will see uh, half a unit of berries is that if it's uh, one person who uh, already came to a bush that already had a few left and then emptied it out, then he will go 
back to camp without max carry allocation because it's not that you're gonna like you're gonna leave the food behind just because it's less amount than ten. So there, there's there's some logic also needing to be calculated into to how many will come with what. Okay, so you okay, Bob Bob. So the heart is is the the fitness. So she has nothing new to give to try, but she she's okay on stone working. Uh, she has increased um, architecture for sure, so and she also has positive grades. She is handy, a uh, uh, good worker, skillful. So we're going to take those, even though the other one is not good. So we have big read house, and we can make storehouses. Now here's the thing: there is no need for any storehouses at this point. If you are semi-nomadic, it means you stay many years in the same locality. And with a small tribe, what are you going to use storehouse for? So this is where we argue. I'm not alone in this. We are players who argue this quite quite regularly, actually, that the storehouses should have capacity to have more types of food and goods stored in it, and not only one type. Because until you have mass income, for instance, um, cultivated yield per per tribe, there is no point having it. There's no point having the storehouse. The only time you can make good use of it is if you're planning to migrate the year after and you're going to fish up and hunt up absolutely everything the locality have and dry it and put it in storehouses. That's the only time. And if you also do hazelnut feasts in the winter. But uh, there won't be any hazelnut feasts anymore because the food is so lowered that you are forced in all difficulties to only harvest what tribe needs plus minus if you keep harvesting a lot you will you will waste everything so there's there's no point and if shit hits the fan and you realize you have no more animals to kill because you have killed them all winter comes and you have harvested up all your food what are you going to live off yeah so there needs to be some winter preparation as well for the player this is new winter preparation is important you must make sure that you have food through both december january february march and april because it's only in april where new food will start to come so what you could do that i do now in testing or at least on smaller to medium tribes is that <clears throat> before neolithic of course is that i leave the animals alone and the fish alone as long as they have any vegetal produce that the tribe can live off and then when winter comes and vegetal food is gone then i fish and hunt and this is completely good oh wooden poles oh we want those you know why we want those because we want to place them around these this um menu when that is ready and i'm going to let my stone workers do that as well but i'm going to need more people doing some of these so we're going to do 50. there you go you might have to argue to get some uh access and we can we can fix that we are not going to stay here forever so we, we are not too worried about using up the the more scarce resources because we are going to migrate migrate uh, when we get uh, neolithic um, ability farms and stuff we are going to migrate to a fresh locality to start all over because we will have um, uh, diminished everything here after many many years <clears throat> the diminishment is not for everything just keep that in mind you will always have reed you will always have fiber you will always have grass growing up every year but there will be a, a, a kind of tiredness of the locality if you know what i mean you know it, the locality gets tired of you but nothing you can't manage forever you can stay here from season from year zero to 1500 bc if you like but you must adhere to what the environment can manage and not waste anything that is uber important do we have we don't have any storage for for wood do we we don't let's just put it up too too much in their faces but a bit away and we also don't have a haystack which we should have now because we have one two we know we only have one two we have two so we get a haystack as well just to keep up the the decay we don't want the decay to be low on the straw yeah and we don't have any uh farm animals either so the only ones who would benefit from the straw being laying out in the wild is animals during food scarcity at winter 
Let's have a look at you guys. Uh, you're young with good things, but you have no skills. Of course, you're two years old. You don't, yeah. Yeah, no more to, no, no need to explain here why he hasn't got any skills. <laughs> uh, oh, he has increased in leather working and has good skills, uh, good attributes. I'll, I'll take them both. Oh, yes, that's what we needed. We needed someone to do our pelt pit, uh, our pelt increase. So now we're going to have one of these as well. Oh, wait. You are going to do these as well. Nobody else. Because the tribe is still so small that we need to, to keep architecture controlled. We need to have these rotate as they learn it. So younger generation as well will learn the skills. Yeah. And not only those who already knows it. She is a bit of a waste. She is 53. She might learn the skill, but she, she will die before she can teach anything to anyone. So I hope she doesn't get any any uh, discoveries, because then they will probably die with her, unless I can manage to spam a lot to, to get up to her skill. You can avoid this, by the way. Oh, oh, that changed. Okay. You can avoid this. So he's even older. Not funny. By doing this. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to lower the work age. Because we already have so many free workers that we can afford to do it. Because what I want is that the, the those over 60 do not go and learn themselves new skills at all. So now we see that are more the, the younger generation, the generation is supposed to take after the elder, who is actually learning it. So this is something you players can do as well. You can jiggle with the work age get away the older ones if they seem to constantly be taking the spots for the younger generation because they easily do that they can easily do that you need to keep an eye on that then you just take down the labor age and poof they have to sit by the fireplace and twiddle their thumbs instead and let the younger ones learn mm -hmm. but they can still teach people when they sit around the fireplace because they will talk about their own skills and the younger generation sitting around or being close by can listen and they will learn so this is also needed. The elders are still needed. So don't think that you can go and kill all the elders because they are no, no longer useful. They will teach the younger generation. But here's, here's the thing. All skills must be practiced with objects in order to be properly learned. So elders can, can help them along when they are learning to get higher levels. But there is no way that you can, by word only, learn a full skill. No way, you need to do it in practice. Yeah, okay, that's the pelt hut done as well. But these are not popular housing, so you shouldn't have too many of them. And as uh, time goes on, they will demand more and more. For instance, we don't have anything more red because the next thing to come that will show us red is a roundhouse. And they will need a Neolithic influence, so you can't even see them. The, the tribe has no clue that these exist. But the second they are red, Someone has seen a tribe uh, with roundhouses or a, a migrant has come and told them about them. Yeah. Mm. So the best we can do now is our big reed hut, which is plus 30. However, this is beginners. You don't need the plus 30. You can mix some tricks on the qualities. And since we have one, two, three with plus quality, any plus quality, we are good. We don't need big reed hut. Yeah, not at all. Because there is no way that we have any kind of combo unrest. Because we have graves, we have food, we have offerings, we have housing for all. Oh wait, not with the newcomers, they need to uh, they need to have a new house built. And we are of course going to add more of the good ones. Let me see how many do I have. 105 read. That means <clears throat> that means one more of these can come down. There you go. So yeah, you can easily mix and tricks the, the, the quality. You don't have to have all good quality. Nobody says that. Uh, never been the case. Never. Not even in hardcore. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, you're a man. You can't get babies, so you're good. No babies. <laughs> you want to keep it. Uh, I think I keep saying it in every, every playthrough I do. If you have a rough population increase of 10 per year, you should be okay. You can go below, but I don't recommend going too much over because then um, the environment can't keep up with you because then don't forget that the environment will change its entities based on tribe size yeah so if you're too fast growing in population the uh, uh, increase from environment is delayed 
okay? So give the environment time to, to reach up to your levels. So roughly 10 per year is fine. You can go lower and a bit higher, but uh, be aware that this is what is happening. Oh, we lost another one. Yeah, that was cold. Yeah, she was the one that said we would keel over soon. It's a good thing she didn't become leader. And he is now 65. Okay, he has a few sleeps left. Let's see. You are... No, I think this is going to be our next leader then. Oh, wait, let's, let's have a look at this one. Um, no. Maybe this one. Maybe Yaka Yaka or Rona. Yaki Yaki Takita or Yana. So all these weird names they've given them. I teased them with the idea. What we did was we had let Mr. Dark be roll his head on the flipping keyboard and that's how all the new names come up. <laughs> but some of them are actually real. They, they are a, a, a current, not current, but they are um, accurate. And I'm so shocked. Someone called Higby Huber 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 is actually an... Uh, uh, an accurate name. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, dude. But this is uh, Ma Baker. Yeah, he's okay. He's got some skills. Oh, she's got increase in food processing. So I've got to take this. Yeah. Mr. Baker, welcome. Did we. Two fishermen and two on vermin. Yeah, there would be a lot of, of meat from these. You know, rats and hares, they, they don't have a lot of meat. They have like, rats have nothing. Rats have nothing. It's like you kill them and you strip them and you get like it's 0 0.01 meat and that's it. No bones. Well, they could be used for needles, could they? The bones from rats and hares. You get no bones and no pelt. And yeah, they're just vermin, seriously. Also, you know, when sometimes when you build a bit close to things, we have a few PLA players who like to do the organic building, which is that you build things into each other. And I do that as well all the time, especially in the big tries with my medium houses and long houses. Um, and it looks really cool. Like you make horseshoes and whatever shapes out of the houses. Um, so some of us are struggling a little bit with that. We sometimes make things inaccessible. You know, because if we if we even come close to blocking a service point, entrance point, or whatever, then at least one type of building becomes inaccessible. So what the devs have done is they have increased the tolerance for this organic building, so that you don't necessarily have a blockage the second you're too close. You have more cells to work on. So that is also a change that is I don't know found nowhere else. I know it because I tested it, of course. <clears throat> so this is good to know that you can can play a bit more around with the uh, cells around other things that you want to build organically inside each other. Because it is cool. It is a, a, a type of a building that is really cool. And of course, we all want to do it to a certain degree. And, and the devs are giving us the tools to do so, which they should. And they are. Am I low on stones? Oh, because they are both building and... Uh, they are both building. No, they're not. Okay, so there are only two getting stones, and there are two carrying three each, so that's why. Oh, be patient. It will come. You're not getting more people, because now we only have... Oh, no. We suddenly have 11 free workers. Oh, because all the others are, of course, filled. Yeah, so the blue one is when limit is met. You can see there's a ceiling-ish, you know, and, a, and an arrow up. That means they've reached limit, so that's why you have zero in that group. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, we are okay on food for everyone. You see, we don't have insane amounts of food, which is good. Because the less waste we have, the better it is. It takes a lot of micromanagement to avoid any kind of waste. In hardcore, you better get it right if you're never going to migrate. If you waste even half a unit, you could kill a child. I know it sounds really, really barbaric when I say it like that, but it is true. And now it's even harder than it used to be. So, yeah, we all need to take care. Oh, he's got okay of architecture, which means I need to pay less attention to be less afraid of architecture. Now we have four plus people in a 42 tribe. And now we are year four. So now roughly 40 is okay. Okay. 
but the food is is a bit from from hand to mouth but we are okay anyway you know nobody is starving nobody shows any red red face yellow face or even blue face if you click them because there is enough food yeah and this is something you now like it used to be before you only had to do this really vigilantly on hardcore on the really difficult places northern norway in the very south of spain and stuff but now you need to do it everywhere you need to pay attention to your food so this change is huge it is so radical that uh, i foresaw and still think that the big problem will not come from new players because they are not used to anything else the big problem the big complaints or the big issues will come from the established players that is the only thing that makes sense to me with regards to this change. So new players will of course struggle to get the balance right, but this is why they need to pay attention to the tutorials. They need to learn how to play the game, good way or bad way, however they choose it. Bad way is not learning anything about the game before they start, they just hop straight in without considering tutorials anything. And the good way is to go through the tutorials and ask questions. Ask questions on the forums and on Discord. The game is not meant to be understood immediately when you start playing you're supposed to play to learn you know you learn as you play oh why is she unhappy what did i do oh wait a minute is there no food now i just said oh there's not food no, i have plenty of food what is she unhappy about oh four years oh and she has a fireplace she doesn't want to sleep in a fireplace are we still lacking houses we are you know i'm babbling so much i'm not paying attention this is my fault and nobody else's so let me see how much do I have, we have 87, then we can make another one, so let's make another one. Not too close to the uh, to the uh, thingy, because we need to put wooden posts as well. There you go. One more. Right. Get going girls. Remember that uh, the priority here also affects how many workers are allowed to work on this hut at the same time. If you put it down here, then there's only two allowed. If you go up here, then you have four and then five. You can never be zero. You'll always be at least one, even if you put on lowest. Yeah. And the uh, top priority when you're building it means it will be repaired fast. No dick and donkey. Yeah. Okay, I think that is going to be it for today and of course I will continue tomorrow or the day after with more and I think the next playthrough now in a few days we'll, we will actually go into the Neolithic timeline and then we can start talking about the effect all the changes going to have on farming. Yeah, until then, have fun and take care. Hey,